I'm doing my second career profile on a marriage and family therapist. And the example organization I found is just the hospital here. It's Dixie Regional Medical Center, but you could also do work at um, private practices and you could even open your own practice if you wanted to. Um, I don't know anybody in this field. Work environment, it depends on where you're working. If you work at a place like a hospital, they might require you to work on some weekends and holidays or um, nights even. Um, but if you work at like a private practice, then you'd have more of a regular um, hours, I guess, and not have to work many weekends or holidays. Um, most of them work full-time. There aren't really many like part-time marriage and family therapists. Uh, typical stressors would be just having to listen to people's problems all day it can be emotionally draining and just hard to listen to day after day after day. Um, benefits just depends on where you work again. Um, most would probably get insurance benefits and um, emotional benefit of knowing that you're helping people. Common job tasks are just talking with families who have issues and helping them work them out and also talking with couples who need marriage help and treating emotional disorders as well. Um, education, you need a master's degree in counseling or marriage and family therapy and you also need to be licensed or certified to be a therapist. The starting salary range is 25, around 25000 and experienced is around 75000 so you can do pretty good. Um, and then just miscellaneous career information. Um, the website I was reading said that the need for a marriage and family therapist is expected to grow within the next few years. So it's a good thing to go into now because you'll have an easier time finding a job. And that's it.